What's up guys and yes the Galaxy Fold 2 was entered into a production and this is your first look at the design of the Galaxy Fold 2nd generation. So as you all expected punch hole is indeed here, very weird or should I say random placement of punch hole but here's the logic behind this placement. From the first look this design looks much better than Galaxy Fold 1 but here in the Fold 2 this thing might irritate you. So according to Eisenwares who by the way leaked this first look, he also explains why Samsung went for a random position of this whole punch design. So in smartphones the front cameras cannot go in line with the rear cameras. Because of the complexity of the design, there isn't much room inside to actually place the front and rear cameras in line. You see all smartphones that we have today available in the market, whether it would be from Samsung or Apple or from OnePlus all have different front and rear camera positions. Now if you thought Galaxy Fold 1 was having front and rear cameras all in one place, so yes you are right but wrong as well. The Fold 1 was having a front notch and rear cameras all in one place but the cameras were not. In fact the front camera on Fold 1 was also at exact same place as of the Galaxy Fold 2 but because of the notch you can't actually see this. And on the left side we have display on both the inward and outward sides so it makes sense to place the front camera on this random position. Now the hole punch on the inner display is not as small as the one with the Galaxy S20 family or with the Note 20 family. It has quite big size hole punch, maybe similar to Note 10's punch hole from last year. According to Eisner's, the bezels on the Fold 2 are around 3.8mm which makes them even smaller than iPhone 11 Pro which sounds really amazing. Because foldable phone from Samsung is getting smaller bezels than what Apple couldn't do with the traditional iPhone 11 Pro Max. All in all out of no choice we get this random front camera position. But other than the hole punch, Galaxy Fold 2 is looking superior in all departments. In case you don't know much about the Fold 2, so Galaxy Fold 2 will also be the first foldable phone rocking a 120Hz flexible AMOLED display with LTPO tech which allows for variable refresh rate support from 1Hz to 120Hz depending on the task playing on screen. And the outer cover display has also improved a lot. We get this full size display now with the hole points there as well. Battery could be 4300 milliampere there with the cameras of S20 Plus and no support for S Pen. Now other than the Galaxy Fold 2, there is also a Galaxy Fold Lite in the process. You guys remember I've talked about it and now we have a 3D CAD renders of this Fold Lite. So it is the Samsung Galaxy Fold 1 in every way possible but the outer cover display is even smaller kinda like a Galaxy Z Flip and two cameras on the back. It is expected to cost $1100 when it will come out to the market but don't expect in a region. We don't know when it will come out or if Samsung later scrapped it. But right now the Galaxy Fold 2 is the one that is coming really soon. Alongside the Note 20, Galaxy Watch 3 and Galaxy Tab S7 on August 5th at online impact event. So let me know. What do you think of this design? Will you get the Galaxy Fold 2 or Note 20? Do let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.